Hey everybody, welcome back to Bonsai Tortoise. Today we're doing some maintenance on a ficus carbon bonsai. So this tree is what you would call a ficus uh, mycocarpa golden gate. Um, there's a gazillion different um, varieties of ficus mycocarpa out there. So I've had this tree uh, maybe about 10 years, give or take. Um, it, it, it went into this pot uh, probably about five years ago. Um, and uh, it's been doing great. And what I'm trying to do is get a good bushy area up here. Um, along with a cascade that comes down here. Um, over time, this cascade, you know, it, it, this, end of, this part of the cascade was back further. And over time, I brought it out further and further away. The, the reason I'm doing some work on it now, it, it's, it's roughly about that time of the year here uh, to start working on these as long as they're in, in, in the greenhouse here. Um, but the reason I'm, I'm working on it now, I, I've noticed the wires cutting in. Um, and uh, you know, it does have wire scars on it already. Uh, ficus are really um, forgiving uh, in terms of uh, the wire scarring. Uh, you can, you can, the, the, it'll disappear in a number of years. And there's some techniques to um, make the scarring look a little bit more natural. Um, and I'll talk about them in a little bit. So here's the tree. Uh, you can see what I'm talking about, the, the wires digging in, like right here, um, right here, it's digging in right there. Uh, in a couple spots, there's some digging in right there. So this, this wire needs to come off. Uh, and while after I do that, um, I'll, I'll clip it back both here and here um, to kind of increase the ramification. A lot of people cut their wire off, which is, which is the better method. Um, so this is kind of a do as I say, don't do as I do kind of thing. But um, I generally don't cut the wire off for, for a bunch of reasons. One, um, the uh, uh, ficus are pretty forgiving, so if you mess with a branch or you break it, you can probably just grab that branch back on or I'll just sprout, sprout back right, right where it is. Uh, two, um, I'm in a greenhouse right now um, and tortoises live here. And I have a tortoise enclosure right down there below my feet. Um, when you cut the wire off, sometimes it tends to go flying. I don't want the tortoises eating it and that's a thing. Three, um, I'm going to admit it, I, I, I use wire. You know, it's not cheap. Um, wire is not cheap. And uh, I don't really, I think it's a waste to kind of cut it off and just throw it away. Um, so I'll reuse it for a couple times. You can't reuse it um, over and over and over again. But um, uh, I do reuse my wire. Here you can see that I'm supporting the wire with either two sets of gym pliers or by firmly grasping one side of the wire while unwinding the other. I'm trying to minimize moving the branches as much as possible and only moving the wire itself. Branches are going to move while you're wiring, but try to limit that as much as possible so you don't end up with a broken branch. You can see here where this wire cut in. That's not the end of the world, especially with ficus. They're, they're, they're forgiving. So when I go to rewire, I'll put this wire on the opposite way and allow that to, to, to cut in a little bit more. So then I'll have a scar that goes this way, so it kind of crisscrosses, it makes this branch look more uneven um, over time, which unevenness is, is more natural. Notice how I, I hold this wire here when I'm taking it off. Um, it just, it stabilizes this. It'll, it'll, you'll break that branch. Sometimes you'll break that branch. Again, ficus are really forgiving, but if this was a buttonwood or a bougainvillea with more sensitive branches that are, they crack a lot easier, um, you'll break that branch if you don't give the branch stability as you take it off. Okay, so now all the wires off this tree. Right now, we're getting to the point of year where our days are getting a little bit longer. I think it's a good time to start working on it. So, uh, I'm going to cut a lot of these branches back, probably to two leaves. Some of them I cut the one leaf. Some of them I cut the no leaves, depending on where they're situated on the tree. Um, and then after I cut all the branches back, um, then I'll rewire. Uh, this top part needs a lot of work. I I'm looking for a nice big dome up here, um, and it's a little gangly right now. So the goal in the end in all bonsai is to increase ramification among your branches and to um, get that good taper, which the taper is, you know, when you have a, it comes from a thicker trunk and it gets thinner and thinner as it goes along. 
So it's the taper is not just the trunk, the taper you want to look at for every single branch. So you can see, you know, you have this thick branch here, you have this thinner branch here, um, this, and then this, this thicker branch goes a little thinner and a little thinner. That's half decent taper. This branch has, no, from here to here to the end, has no taper. Uh, there's no, no, no ramification. It's one long branch. Um, uh, so I need to do something with this branch. This is an end branch, so I don't want it too thick, but uh, I still want a little bit of taper. But what I do want is ramification. What you can see, though, is I can do away with this, this branch because I have two other branches, one here and one here, there. So I'm going to cut this branch almost all the way off to those two branches in the back. So now I have this little bit of a branch coming up from, from, from the main branch here, and I have another branch coming up that way, coming up, coming up that way. Now what will happen is instead of that branch trying to feed the tip to the tip of this main branch, the energy will now go to this branch and this branch, thereby increasing the, the look of these two branches. So on this branch here, I, as you can see, I cut back the two leaves there. Hopefully, I'll get two new branches from this leaf and this leaf. But on this leaf that's an old leaf, I have a new bud starting, which is great because I need another I need another branch off of this branch to increase ramification. So I'm going to leave this leaf where it is. I'm not going to take that leaf off. So it basically feeds that bud, which will then grow into a new branch. Okay, so I'm basically done with this part here. Some of these branches, you can see this one here is towards the end of the, the cascade. So with this branch, I've left the, the, the leaf tip, the, the grow tip at the, at the end, in the hopes that this branch here will grow longer. In terms of how I, I do bonsai, I just kind of discover along the way. Um, I get a kind of sort of idea of what I want in my head. For this tree, what I want is is a, is a longer cascade, um, maybe another six inches to a foot. I'm not sure. But then along the way, I want other branching, kind of back. So this top section, I, I started clipping it back, but I'm gonna um, I'm probably gonna defoliate most of this top section. Um, I think it can take it. It's it's a lot more ramified than this section, um, and uh, it'll make life a lot easier when um, when I go to wire it. Uh, totally defoliated. You can see this leaf has this branch has a good amount of leaves. I'm not going to defoliate. I am going to defoliate it, but I'm going to cut this off. So I cut back the two nodes, two leaves, uh, and then this comes off, and that comes off. With this branch here, this is a green branch. So if I defoliate this branch, it's likely this will just shrivel off and die. So I'm going to cut. I have another leaf back here. I have another branch starting back there. I'm going to cut this whole thing off. There's no point uh, in leaving that there. When I defoliate a tree, I leave the petiole or leaf stem behind. It has nutrients and good stuff like that that can really help in growing and feeding those new buds. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with clipping it all back. This section is uh, kind of partially defoliated. Uh, this section is uh, pretty much all defoliated. So in this section, you can see there's a lot more ramification amongst these branches compared to this section. Um, and uh, this, this is going to come back with no problem. I'm not repotting this, this plant today. Um, I just repotted it last year where I grow. They don't need to be repotted every year. There are a couple little tiny weeds uh, growing in this pot. You want to get rid of the weeds. It, they eat up nutrients in your soil that you need for the tree. Um, but in my situation, uh, in previous videos, and some folks, how they, how, if they follow me on Instagram, they see how I feed my weeds from my bonsai pot to my tortoises. Uh, just a, a note of clarification. You can see in here, in this pot, this is old, but this is old fertilizer. Uh, it, and it's, um, it's not organic fertilizer. It's, it's, I forget what it is. It's probably some miracle Grow type fertilizer um, that I used in this pot last year. I think I had it laying around. Over the past few years, I've switched to all organic fertilizer, um, anything natural, because, one, I think it's better. Two, um, the uh, I feed these weeds to my tortoises. These weeds here, these little things, they're not going to the tortoises because the chemicals in the fertilizer um, could be potentially harmful to the tortoises. So just a point of clarification there for anyone that follows me saying, ah, he feeds his weeds to his tortoises and he uses chemical fertilizer. Only in trees or in pots where I've used organic fertilizer. This tree, when I repot it, 
um, I'll put in the new soil, I'll start, I'll switch it over to, to organic fertilizer, take the weeds out, throw them in the compost pile, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, this rock here is holding the tree in the position that I want it. If I didn't have this rock, this tree would, would be laying probably more like at this angle, and I, I, just, I didn't want that. I wanted this up and, and kind of coming, coming out of the pot. Eventually, once the, this, the roots down below get more stable and I grow more of a better root base down below for stability, I can probably get rid of this rock. Uh, or maybe I can hide it underneath the soil or, or something like that. Um, same thing with these wires. Uh, once I get better roots down below, um, I might be able to wire this tree in uh, below the soil uh, so you don't see this big honking set of wires. Uh, you can probably hide these if you wanted to cover them with moss and all that stuff, but um, they're there. And then maybe next re repotting, I'll be surprised and I can um, uh, make them look a little better. So you want to use the right gauge wire on your branches. This is about a two and a half millimeter wire. Uh, if you use too thick of a, of a wire on these really, really thin branches, you might break them. On the thicker branches, obviously thicker wire, heavier wire. Uh, on the thinner branches, uh, less heavy wire. This is just regular old aluminum wire, uh, nothing special. It's important to brace one end of the wire while twisting the other end on. Also, wire around the branch. Don't use the branch as leverage to get the wire on, or you could end up with wire that's too tight or a broken branch. So on branches like this, you can see how I don't wire so tight. Um, it's relatively new, it's kind of sensitive, so and it's going to throw off uh, some good growth probably. So um, that, that gap I'm leaving in the wire to the branch uh, will protect the branch to a certain extent while still putting the branch basically where I want it. This here is, is very, very, very flat. Um, one of the reasons for that is I, I'm missing branches that I should have in the middle, so it doesn't really make a crown. But what I've done is, you can see a lot of these branches here, I've moved these into the middle, uh, towards the middle a little bit. Um, so eventually these will grow taller in the middle, so then I'll have that, that better crown. So I want this section, like I said, to kind of probably come down a little bit more, uh, and I want to make these branches a little longer. Um, so that'll be my goal here, and also maybe try to take care of some of these wire scars by uh, crossing the opposite way over these scars. So this branch here, is the way it, it branches off over here, uh, is competing with space with this branch. And this branch, I don't, you probably can't see it at that angle, but this branch here and this branch here are the ones that are coming down to try to give me that length that I, that I want. This branch, um, ultimately I might get rid of it, but right now what I'm thinking it might be a pretty cool side branch. So I want this to kind of come back. So you can see, ficus are forgiving. So this branch was pointed that way. I was able to get it to go all the way back. Um, so I think this will turn into a side branch one day. Um, but now I can kind of build this so it's kind of over here on the side and not competing with all these other branches that are coming down towards the, 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 the front. Okay, so that's all the work I'm going to do on this tree today. So we have, uh, we cleaned up this a little bit. We got rid of a, a good sized branch over here. Um, still have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably going to chop it to be honest with you, but maybe that's next time. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this branch. Uh, it might turn into a side branch, in which case I might turn this into a side branch. So you kind of have that zigzag side branch thing going on. I bent these down a little bit. Um, so they'll continue that cascade movement down. And I left the leaf tips, the grow tips, on the ends of, the ends of these leaves uh, right here. So this will this will lengthen. It will also help thicken back here a little bit. As I'm bending these down, I'm making sure that my leaf tips point up a little bit. Even though it's a cascade, the tips should still point up. Uh, I did not mess with this. I didn't wire that this too much because uh, I have no idea what's going to go, what's going to happen with it. Um, 
And so, yeah, I wired the heck out of this top thing, and I know when I go to take that wire off or restyle or repot or whatever I do with this tree, I am going to regret putting all this wire on there. Um, just because ficus, they grow so fast. Um, and uh, I'm going to be cursing myself when I go to unwire it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, found it entertaining at least. And um, this tree will go back on the bench. Uh, it's going to bud back with life over here. I'll give it a little bit of fertilizer, uh, all natural fertilizer this time. And um, we'll go from there. I have little doubt that this tree will bounce back with no problem. And again, it's a ficus. They, they tend to really, uh, they're, they're very forgiving. And that what's meant that for me, that's what makes them so fun to work on. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again. Bye.